burnout. No, not the kind where you put two motorcycle tires together and you crank it. Not that kind of burnout. I'll talk to you about three things. Burnout, honest self-evaluation, and caring a little bit less. Now, each one of those topics could be a topic on its own, obviously. It could hold its own for all kinds of point by points and PowerPoints. But all three of these factor into this single example that I'm going to talk about right now. Now, before I get started, I would like to say scmotolawyer.com, sponsor for Moto Photo Adventures. If you need a motorcycle lawyer to get in an accident, them's good people. That's all I'm saying. And the reason that I say this is because if you noticed in my last head in the car talking video that had nothing to do with motorcycles, um, it was the first one that I did that it was called redemption. It was the first one that I did that was like this. And I was very concerned about how it would be re received. And uh, one of the things that we like to do at Moto Photo is with our sponsors, we like to have a personal relationship. Now there are some big ones like Senna, et cetera, et cetera, that you're talking to a representative and you're never going to get past to that. But in some cases on a number of instances with a number of our sponsors, it's personal. We go to the same rallies, we see each other in person, et cetera, et cetera. And Rick messaged me about the last video and said good things. That's cool. That is good people. And that is encouraging. Because I didn't know how, you know, it's not motorcycle stuff. So anyway, scmotolawyer.com. That ties in a little bit with what I'm talking about, burnout. I have been in the video industry since about the year 2000. I was a live video or a live television director for the news for about the first five, first seven years of my life. I did two years of freelance and then I did about five years as a director and I did about six hours of live television every single day for five years. Weekends off, of course. But if you add all that up, plus the 20 years following that, where I bounced from TV station to TV station, directing, being the manager, creating graphics, the whole nine yards for news, and then went full-time in my own personal company in 2009, 11, something like that. And so I've been doing that all this time. If you count up the videos that are on our Moto Photo Adventures webs uh, uh, YouTube page, there's over 520 videos on our, on our YouTube page. I would say 200 of those approximately are travel videos, and each one of those takes me two to three days at least. That's 600 right there, just on the Moto Photo. I've been doing this for a minute, and I have a lot of clients that have come and gone, which means I cannot count the number of hours nor the number of videos that I've ever been a part of, whether it was from soup to nuts or it was in only one capacity. And so I want to talk about burnout because <clears throat> you have to find something that keeps you interested in doing the thing that you were interested in doing. Right? Right. So when I got in the car last time and talked about redemption, it was because of a motorcycle in, uh, example that I was talking about where, you know, bad interaction, personal thing, small business. And so I did it. And that was creative for me. It was an outlet. Nova Scotia episode seven is also an example. The music in that, most of the music in that, comes from a band that I wrote lyrics for 25, 30 years ago. And we just, you know, in an outbuilding on a piece of property, made music. And, you know, they've played them in their little local band and everything, but, it, you know, it didn't go anywhere. And so I came across these songs right before Nova Scotia, uh, episode seven, and I said to myself, self, we're tight, I can call myself that, I need to do something that is interesting for me, <clears throat> not necessarily for the audience every single time. It's got to be something that's got to be for me. 
And so I threw all of these songs in there. They're amateur, pro amateur. They're fun. They were a blast from my past. And I got some kickback, a little bit. Not much, it was fine. But it made me pay attention, that's for sure. And it made me wonder what I just did. Did I, did I lose some subscribers? Did I get some thumbs downs? Did I, did it matter? Honest self-evaluation. That's where it takes you. Because Chris and I started this YouTube channel as just kind of a lark and it has become a beast of its own. And now it has become a significant portion of my life. A couple of days a week at least. And so I had to decide how much is this is for public consumption and appreciation and how much of this is my autobiography. I think that uh, it is all my autobiography. And if people happen to like it and hit a thumbs up and make a positive comment and say things that are encouraging, yay. If not, it's my book, I get to write it. Hope you don't skip any chapters. Which bring me to the third point. I've forgotten the third point. Give me a second. Yeah. Care a little less. It's like that big long pause right there. Care a little less. I'm not saying care none, obviously. I do my work with diligence. I do my clients work with diligence. I make sure that every project, in fact, I said this today, I was shooting a video for AGL Mechanic, Mechanical. Look up their um, YouTube page. They're doing pretty good. They just started about a year or two ago and they're, they're doing well. And I shoot their, their professional how-to videos. And we were talking about it today about how, how much effort should you put into this kind of thing, you know? It is a side gig. And I said, look, every single edit I ever do, I do as if I'm trying to win an award. Now you see that George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and all these guys, every once in a while they'll do these off the wall things, off the wall projects, you know, indie films if you want to call them, or, or you know, lower budget types things and stuff that they wanted to do. I wonder sometimes is that because of burnout they need to be creative? They have done some honest self evaluation and determined that they need to do something for themselves, for themselves, for themselves. They hope somebody likes it, but it doesn't really matter. Because why? They have learned how to care just a little bit less. Not about the product and not about the people watching it. Just about the acceptance of it. So, with that said, if you see my mug on a thumbnail sitting in a car, you're going to know it's just me talking about stuff. Stuff that I have encountered. Stuff that is encouraged or discouraged or that has made me quizzical or angry. Hopefully sometimes happy. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, all that jazz. If you want to see me again, do this again, hit some comments, tell me what you like, what you don't like, etc, etc. But I will see you on the next video not about motorcycles. <laughs>